the future of tech doesn't look quite like I thought. Instead of this, it's looking more and more like this. Gigantic warehouses that store the data that make up our digital selves. And Atlanta is one of the country's fastest growing data center markets. But why are these massive facilities moving south and how much strain are they putting on our energy resources? Every app, game, or cloud service you use runs through a data center, and the rise of AI is only causing more demand for them. On average, an AI query can be 10 times more energy intensive than a simple Google search. But how much energy does an AI query take? ChatGPT tells me that one query to ChatGPT is roughly equal to running this fan on low for about 15 minutes. And a half hour conversation with an AI chatbot is almost equal to running the Bluetooth speaker for a five hour dance session. Of course, chatbots are a big driver for data centers, but they're one of many AI technologies fueling the boom. And the biggest companies are heading to places like Atlanta and Northern Virginia, not Silicon Valley, to power this new technology. Atlanta alone is building 2,160 megawatts of data centers. That is enough to match two nuclear power plants at Plant Vogel or power up to 2.2 million homes. But are we ready for the strain of this massive tech boom? Beyond land constraints, these centers have massive cooling and electricity needs, some using up to 5 million gallons of water daily. And as the number of these data centers grow, so do concerns about power grid strain. But ready or not, data centers are growing, and we're only seeing the beginning.